Project Zomboid, the beautiful game of that, that and that. But does this really have to be the fate of two horror playtime players? And the answer is um, probably, but don't worry, as this video is here to help you minimize the amount of suffering you go through as a beginner Project Zomboid player. I just exited my beginner phase and these are some crucial tips I learned, so you'll probably find them useful as well. Anyways, let's get right into it. The first tip I have to give is don't be overconfident. Did you just find a really cool weapon and hit long blunt level 3? Great. Collect the rest of the loot you can carry, go home, eat, clean yourself and take a rest. Don't go outside and look at the first group of zombies you see and think, hmm, nah, advent, because you probably won't. If you already slayed a shit ton of zombies to acquire this new weapon and skill, you're probably drained, so engaging in any major fights or adventures might be your own doom. Especially if you don't have the mod that allows you to see your energy and hunger at all times. And just generally, don't be overconfident and stupid. I know I may sound like a nerd party breaker, but you'll eventually learn the importance of this tip the easy or the hard way, so yeah, choose your poison. Tip 2. Character building. Now, there's multiple factors you need to consider when building your character. The first very important thing is to know which traits are a scam and which are free money. I would highly advise checking out the wiki and the specifics of each trait. Or install a mod that allows you to see all of them. You should always take free traits like fake stomach and smoker. These traits give you decent extra points for downsides which are so easy to manage you forget about them. I was playing with a friend once and I told him to take smoker as it's free points but he's like um me no no wanna smoking bad bad. Now this is not a Philip Morris sponsored video but trust me just shut the fuck up and smoke the damn cigarette. It's literally a whole four free points. Same goes for weak stomach, you just gotta not eat raw food and if you're at that point where you really got to, you're dead anyways. Scam traits are those that will torture you 24-7 during your life for not that many positive points. One of these are all thumbs because trust me, you don't wanna spend 10 years in front of your drawer taking things out and putting them in. Sunday driver is also just terrible because speed is very cool. And obviously don't take death because you'll die in 2 seconds. Another very important thing is to build your character suited to your playstyle and not following online best character builds. Sure, this well balanced build you found online might be good for let's say easy escapes, good carpentry constructions and sniping. But this is all completely pointless if you don't do none of these things. This was a major mistake I did for a while. I watched an online guy that said carpenter is one of the best occupations and I just decided to take it because I didn't know what else to take. But I just ended up never using the benefits of this occupation. After some time I realized my playstyle is bashing in many skulls. I'm living like a nomad that steals everything he can so I started using the burglar occupation which perfectly satisfies two of my playstyle needs. And I would also take the strong trait which keeps me alive even with all of my reckless behavior. And the negative traits such as high hunger and thirst weren't an issue as I was constantly moving around and plundering. That being said, after I optimize my traits for my playstyle, I find myself living 200% times longer. So even though fast reader is a good trait, don't take it if you're just never gonna be reading books. Or for example, don't take pacifist if you're gonna be primarily using melee weapons. Tip 3. Alcohol. Don't miss out on alcohol. Just like in real life, it can solve many of your problems. For example, is your character injured and in too much agony to sleep? No worries, just chuck a whole bottle of bourbon and basically pass out. Do you wanna make sure your wounds don't get infected? Well, unless you got better alternatives, you can use bourbon for disinfection. Are you surrounded by hordes of zombies? No problem, just put a rug into your bottle of bourbon, set it on fire and watch them all burn. Oh, and did I mention that bourbon is also a great source of entertainment? Especially when combined with driving or if you have a wife and kids to give lifelong trauma. So yeah, these things are quite of a jack of all trades, so make sure to save some of that inventory space for them. Tip 4. Knowledge is everywhere. Reading books is not the only source of knowledge in this game. After you start your game, during the next 7 days various TV programs will air on TV which can help you level up your skill levels. These shows include the Woodcraft show which after you watch it only once will increase your carpentry to level 1. There is also a cooking show which will help you increase your cooking skill level and a general exposure survival show which will teach you a different skill such as fishing, forming, foraging, trapping and again carpentry every single episode. So if you wanna save yourself time, watching these will be a must do. And there's also VHS types you can often only find in shops and whilst most of these will only reduce your boredom, there's also episodes of the previously mentioned TV shows which will also increase your skill level and teach you crafting recipes. If you're wondering when these shows appear, you can find all of their times on the Project Zomboid wiki. Also in true Romanian passion, if you wanna grind one of your skills, make sure to disassemble stuff for items and looting random houses. You probably know this but you'll get XP by doing so and the further you are from home the better. Because then when you are a bigger level and are disassembling stuff near your home, you'll get more materials which you can use for building with the set skill. This is much more optimal instead of firstly turning all of your nearby furniture into dust and then having to transport materials from bigger distances. 
Tip 5. Lose zombies through building the trees. Now, this is a bit risky, but realistically, it's your only chance of losing massive amounts of zombies. If you are ever being chased, just run through any building and it's guaranteed that if you make it to the other side of it, you will lose anybody and anything that was following you. Same goes for forests, though they are more tricky since you can get jump scared by zombies and you can get scratched by trees. Unless you use auto walk. This auto walk automatically navigates you through the most effective routes, though make sure to be really alert when doing this as the same efficient navigator could navigate you right into a zombie. You can also use tall fences to lose sight, unless you're fat. But always make sure that the on the other side of the fence there won't be even more zombies ready to tear you to shreds. Tip 6. Watch what you eat. Calories don't equal hunger. You can eat high calorie foods but not be satisfied in hunger and vice versa you can eat low calorie foods but satisfy your hunger. Now generally you won't really need to pay attention to this if your character has normal weight and you know, touches grass, but if you started your game with an underweight or overweight trait this is something you must pay attention to or well at least if you don't wanna stay handicapped by your weight forever. Calories are the main determiners of weight. Have too many, you'll gain weight. Have too little and you'll become a thing that can't even kill one zombie. Carbohydrates and fat also play a role in this but not as much as calories. Proteins won't impact your weight but they can boost your strength XP gain if you eat enough of them. If you choose the nutritionist trait you will be able to see the values of every food but if you don't you will only be able to see the ones from the packaged foods. If you're struggling with gaining or losing weight you should probably find another guy dedicated to that as I can't really go fully in detail over it now but essentially just touch grass and don't eat butter which has 3200 calories for only 24 hunger unless you're underweight. Anyways these weren't the most detailed tips but rather some general guidelines new players don't think about which definitely caused me to die numerous times. So that's why I'm passing this knowledge down. If you found anything from this video useful or just enjoyed watching me up make sure to subscribe because trust me clicking this button attached to my channel will release infinite amounts of dopamine and um, depression over time. Oh and also at 10k subs I'll host a fat ass giveaway in my discord server so make sure to not miss out on that. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.